So just remember that after this class today, we have a beginner's class. You guys are welcome to, to take that class. So today we start the new level, level two. And then we start with attack from mount again. So I have my curriculum, the white belt curriculum. I have 80 lessons. These 80 lessons is I divided every 20 lessons. So we cycle through all jujitsu positions, the main positions, mount, guard, back, side control, and, and half guard. Uh, we cycle every 20 lessons. And today we started this new, new level. All right, so today we're doing uh, Ezekiel from Mount. Okay, so, but for our class here, we are doing uh, skips. Okay, so we are going to do one more escape from the back. And then usually this is what happened. He, uh, he is going to, to attack. So usually what happens is he has one arm over the shoulder, one arm under the arm. Usually, this is how it goes. I know sometimes he gets that seat belt position and then that's the same thing. One arm over the shoulder, one arm under the arm. All right, so sometimes he's gonna have both arms. If he's trying to do a rear naked choke, both arms, they are over my shoulder. All right, so sometimes he's trying to get a bow and arrow and then one arm is over the shoulder, the other arm is controlling the pads. But usually this is what happened. That is, remember, as we, we saw that on Monday, that is one side that is easier for me to do the escape and one side that I go that is, is harder. All right, so remember that the side that is open Remember that if you think about his arm as an arrow, it's pointing where I have to go. So I want to go this way. And of course, he wants me to go that way. And this is what happens. You know, like we end up here with the back and then a very few times you're gonna have ex exactly this position. Usually it's gonna be here, all right? And then what I need to do, of course, First thing that I'm gonna do when someone is attacking, I cannot try to deal with something because you know, he's gonna finish that really quick. All right, so I always have to go and have at least one hand on his forearm. So remember the way to do is, see this hand is deep, my elbow all the way forward, once I get this hand as deep as I can, what I'm gonna do with my elbow, I go back with my elbow right here because I don't want that arm putting pressure. Of course, that's gonna be a little, that's gonna be pressure, but I want to release a little bit of the pressure. All right, so I'm not on the side that I want. I want to go to that side, but you know, I can't. All right, so right now, and then what I'm going to do right now, so the fan right here, with my top leg, I'm going to pull his foot and then I'm going to control his foot with my hand right here. All right. So here, look at that. I'm going to go one, control that foot right here. And then look, I don't want that hook anymore. So if I try to do this without controlling his foot, that's going to be impossible. All right, if I try to go and reach for that foot, it's gonna be hard. All right, so the way I want to do is, look, one, control, kick the leg, and then I lock that space right here. If I keep this open, he's gonna put the, his leg around again. So once I get his hook out, so what I need to close that gap between my arm and my leg. So this is what I want. I don't want him. I don't want him to get that that hook anymore. I'm like that. Of course, he's going to try. He's going to try to throw. But you look, this is what I'm doing. If I go here, he's going to get. 
All right. So right now, that's the first, the first one. He's gonna throw. He's gonna get it. And then he he's on that side. So one counter, two grab the foot, throw and go right there, and then start over. All right. Counter the neck. Bring the hand. Grab the foot. Look at the way I'm grabbing from the east side. You see, I'm not going. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna do this. All right, so I have to, it has to be here. This is stronger. And then I go. I go right there. All right. That's the first one. Let's go, guys. Start with that. Okay, time. Okay, so let me show you what's the idea on this escape. All right. The idea on this escape is to, to do what? So he's gonna attack. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right here. All right, so my idea is, let's see if there is no grips right here. My idea is to go get this and get the top position. So again, the idea right here with no grips, look. No grip, just go to on this side. One, go right here, step, block this block right here, because I don't want him to get his leg around. All right, from this position, what I have to do is I need to free this bottom shoulder. All right, so I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna put both knees on the mat, I'm gonna free that shoulder and catch that half guard position. So that's the idea. Of course, it's very hard because he, he has his grips on me. And if I go right here and I get everything correct, one, and get the position right here. What he wants to do, maybe he wants to post that hand back and Throw the leg and take the back, take, take my back again. All right, so the arm that is over the shoulder is really important. All right, so I'm here. So look, I'm gonna get a grip on the sleeve. Right now, he cannot be on the wrist. He has to be on his V. I'm gonna get a grip and then I'm gonna start to pull his shoulder force me till I get one hand on the sleeve and the second hand is all the way up here on his lapel. And I'm gonna pull that. You see how I need to keep his head close to my head. If I don't do that, he's gonna take my back again. All right, so I'm pulling this. And then I go, once I cannot pull that anymore, I'm gonna drive this knee down. And then now I'm gonna start to move that, that shoulder. So remember, the, this shoulder that is on my mat, I have to go on top of him till I free that arm and get the underhook. All right? Is that easy? No, that's not easy. But at that point, that's the option that you have. All right? So, you're trying to escape, you're going to the wrong side. Oh, what can I do right there? Oh, I can do this. So one more time. I'm gonna be right here. So look, everything starts with this hand. So remember elbow all the way, because when I bring my elbow, this is when I, I get a little bit of space. So I'm on the wrong side. Then I go, right, get on the inside right here. One and two. So here, one, the hand goes, just like that judo. He pulls it away. I get a grip. Oh, could I reach his collar? No. Who more? Who more? And then you start to adjust. Go this hand higher and higher. I get my position. And then I go. He down. If he tries to take my back, Right now he can't because you know he cannot post his hand on the mat. 
because he cannot create any space. And then I go, once I get this knee down, it's time to move my shoulder, bottom shoulder, higher. Go. And then, one bit keep. I go, I go till I free this arm and get down the hook right here. All right. So let's try to do that. I really like, I like this one. Really like this one. All right, time. So now we have one more nice option. You know, like if I'm on the side that I don't want, how, how I'm supposed to go and go to the other side. So remember that I have to be here on this side. It's the, better for me but the person of course the person that is attacking is always right here all right so now again same control here on the forearm all right instead to go control his hands instead to go and control his foot so what i want to do is i want to go and then one bring my feet really close to my bottom one and two Two, I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna try, try to push off the mat and go really high right there, all right? With this, I wanna place my hand right by his ear and then I'm gonna move my head to this side. Then look, what I can do is I can go to the side that I, that I want, all right? So here, again. I want to go. I'm like that. If I just try to move my head, that's not going to happen. I have to use this free arm. If I just have this here, that's not going to help it too. See, I have to use my legs. So this is important. All right. So I need to go to that direction. All right. So I, play, I go. I'm going to place my hand right there. I'm going to move. And that. What do I have right here? I have the side that I, I want to skate. I have my shoulder on the mat. I have my head on the mat. So remember what's next step from Monday. Break that grip. All right, so find his hand, break that grip. Back flat on the mat. And remember that we have two options right now. All right, so first option, I'm gonna twist, elbows on the mat, I get that full guard. Second option right here, and when he's trying to mount, and then I push to the half guard, all right? So now, I just want you guys, I'm gonna do right here, just pretend that I'm on my side. Okay, so defend, hand goes right there, move, move the head right here. Okay, so one, two, move my head to this side. All right, so if you have the back position, you see how, in order to finish the choke, his head needs to be on that side. If his head is on this side right here, he can put pressure and that's not gonna happen. See, that's not, the choke is not very effective if his head is right there. Okay, so that's the thing that I want to do. I wanna go one, Move my head, go, and do my shape. All right, so let's try to do that. 